On this production tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the BPM in MIDI on Ableton. This is a very specific thing. There's a lot of things that Ableton can do that's awesome, some that it can't. And one really annoying thing is if you want to export out MIDI, for some reason, honestly, I don't know why, Ableton automatically defaults that BPM on the MIDI always to 120. I hope they fix this. Now, as you can see, I have a track pulled up right now. This is actually my remix of the Supernatural theme. I'm going to play you a little bit of it so you can hear it, right? So it sounds like this. All right. Now, I have the main MIDI here. This is the actual main MIDI from the original. I'm going to solo this so you can hear it. Right. Now, I'm going to export this out. File, go down to export MIDI clip, and then I'll just call it, I'll call it one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new live set. I'm not going to save this. And you'll notice when I bring this in, the BPM is still 120. Super annoying. Ableton always exports out any MIDI at 120. So I have my first MIDI here. So the first thing you want to do is export out your MIDI, even though the BPM is not going to be the same, export out the MIDI, right? So I have this MIDI here that's all the MIDI notation. I'm now going to bring up this program. This is a free program. So I'm going to open this up like so. I'm then going to go to import a MIDI file. I'm going to go to my desktop and type and uh, click one. So now I have this. And as you can see, the initial tempo, for whatever reason, Ableton always saves it as 120. I'm then going to go here and I'm going to type in 80 or whatever the original tempo is of your MIDI file or of your song. Once I hit enter, all I'm going to do then is click file, export to MIDI. So what you're really doing is bringing in the MIDI file just to change the uh, BPM, and then you're just bringing it right back out. So I'm gonna call this two. So now if you notice, I'm gonna close this out, right? That's all I needed to do, that was it. I have one here and two. Now when I bring live back up, and I import the second MIDI file, not the original, you're gonna notice, wait for this to load up, now it's the right BPM, so I bring this in here. I'm gonna say yes. And then if you notice, the BPM is now 80. So that's how you do it. Essentially, all you have to do is export out the MIDI file or the MIDI in general, bring it into that program. You know, unfortunately you do have to use a different program, change your BPM, export that one out. And now you have the MIDI file with the specific BPM that you want.